Val Grove from La Puente is asking me about, can you do a lawsuit after the cases are done after termination of rights and adoption? Davis, The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services, and when We're back. Before I take some more calls, I wanted to address a couple things that are on our Facebook live feed um, at The Secret, How to Fight CPS and when Val Grove from La Puente is asking me about, can you do a lawsuit after the cases are done after termination of rights and adoption? Um, the answer, Val, is you can do a lawsuit anytime. Um, in the state or federal courts if you feel that your rights or, you know, your civil rights have been violated. So bringing a lawsuit against the social worker and the county um, is something that you can do. Uh, You know, I I did a case uh, not too long ago, and um, I won't say what county it is in. It's not Los Angeles County, but it's another county in California. And during the trial, um, uh, a witness who was a therapist, was called by the social worker. And allegedly the conversation went something like this. Uh, Therapist says, why are you saying these things about uh, the father? Um, I don't see any of those things in him when we do the individual counseling. And, And apparently the social worker was saying negative things, which, you know, they were talking about. And then they, they get cut off. They get cut off the phone, and um, it, I guess it was a drop call or something. And the social worker calls back, and by the time she calls back, the therapist is on another call. So it goes to the therapist's voicemail. And I've actually heard this um, uh, CD, this recording, and the, the, the social worker says, well, the reason why I'm saying those things is Sometimes I have to exaggerate in order to, you know, get what we want and what we think is best for the child. You know, words to that effect. So basically, in my opinion, she's telling the therapist, well, sometimes we have to lie to get what we want. And uh, we're filing a lawsuit in that case uh, against the social worker in that particular county. Um, Eventually, we did go through the trial, the jurisdictional and dispositional trial, and the judge did rule in our favor. But, you know, it took literally months because of the court congestion, um, the court uh, schedule in order to do this. And we finally won. But this guy was out with, you know, without his child for about seven months, if I can remember correctly. So you can bring lawsuits. Uh, generally, lawsuits, Val, are where the social worker has not been truthful in her reports or in her testimony and or when the child gets hurt or when the um, social worker does something that might be illegal. For example, we have another had another lawsuit where the social worker was um, sexually harassing the mother um, in the case. And, you know, there was some, you know, I, I don't want to misquote it, but... Basically, you know, if you do what I say, you know, if you, you know, have a relationship with me, a physical relationship with me, it'll be easier for you to get the child back or I won't take the child, that type of thing. So, you know, these social workers are are human beings. And, you know, everyone, even, you know, we human beings, we do strange things sometimes. And, you know, social workers uh, have some type of qualified immunity. And sometimes they think they can't be sued uh, and they do, you know, crazy stuff. 